Hello and good morning. I think today Indian cinema is going through a beautiful phase where we see a lot of women are coming forward and they aspire to become filmmakers. And even the actors, when we talk about the female actors in, uh, in India, I think the kind of roles that are specially written for them, uh, it makes a huge mark. And we know that we are in the new generation where we can say that India is definitely growing and it's growing bigger every day. So here we are going to discuss about women role in cinema, uh, not only as an actor, but as a producer, director. And like Munmun said, we also have Mr. Bhandarkar who's going to give us a perspective as to what it takes to make a film with women. And I would like to start with you, Mr. Madhur. What you, your films we have seen, okay, we have a honorable minister here with us. Morning. We will start with a keynote address by Dr. L. Morgan, Honorable Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting. Let's welcome him with a round of applause, please. Yes, yeah, so uh, Madhur, like I said, uh, okay. you know, you have made films with only women. It's most of the films. Most of them. 90% of your films yeah. have been women-centric. So I want to know from you, what makes you think when people shy away from making women-centric films, you have made films which have not only been appreciated by the government of India globally, but also they have brought in a lot of moolah. We are talking about creative economy, and I think you're the right person to present that. You know, you should be the brand ambassador for creative economy with women power. So what it takes to do that? Uh, thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. Uh, honor to share the dais with uh, Murgan sir, Honorable MOS Minister sir, and all my colleagues over here for the film fraternity and the lovely audience. Uh, well, I think it's uh, definitely very difficult to make women-centric cinema. I've been making this from last 23 years. Uh, but it's, it's very difficult because to raise funds and to get money. You know, a lot of producers say, hey, why don't you make male-oriented film, female-oriented film, make male-oriented film. Banana. Because I, I think my journey started with Chandni Bar, with Satta, Page 3, then corporate, fashion, heroine, and now bubbly bouncer that's been a huge journey and i've been successful in that it's my movie gets commercially success critical acclaim uh, national awards also and uh, my all my actresses i think their best work in is my, my movie i think that's what i feel great about it and get the performance and i feel in our society in our country we need a lot of this subject from a woman point of view like a lot of people told me why not a film uh, why can't there be a male model like in fashion or a page three, a male journalist. Why only women? But I feel it is very essential, very vital to have a point of view from the woman's point of view. Yeah, it is. it does make very difficult for me to generate funds. Uh, you don't get the desirable budget, which I think we need to it, uh, which a hero-centric film will get. Okay? And that's, I'm not talking over here. It's, it's a world-over phenomena. Everywhere it is like that. If a big star film will be there, you will get millions and billions to make a movie. But when you make a woman-centric film, then it will be, a budget will be curtailed the budget and it has to be in a proper thing because they feel that the audience is not going to take this movie so much money. And especially in India, mein we have this problem that we don't get a desirable budget to make woman-centric cinema. Why do you take so risk? Kyun lete ho? Because I feel that I'm more comfortable in making women-centric cinema. I, I don't know, with, I feel that the kind of research I do, the kind of uh, uh, nuance I get from the women point of view, which has been good and we've been successful. A lot of women, in fact, they tell me, how do you get into that mindset so well, the 
the perception you get so well about women and thing about it i think it's very inborn with me and i feel ke uh, i it's okay for me to say people say madhur is a women centric filmmaker or he make women centric cinema till the time because i am able to tell the stories which i want the audience to tell and i am been successful in it and i am happy with this journey i do make male oriented film also like aan or recently i made uh, into india lockdown and or a traffic signal uh, so these kind of movies also i make jail with uh, manoj vajpay and neenit mukesh so i am happy i never think hey, this is gender based film. i think as a story as a filmmaker i feel what i has to go to the audience it depends on that my subject will decide yeah because my uh, films are more women centric so it might been labeled like that mm. he makes women centric cinema but i think slowly slowly now in last 8 uh, to 10 years there is a major revamp there is a major upsurge in lot of my colleagues or my contemporaries are started making women centric cinema which is a huge thing and especially the ott has been absolutely a great uh, uh, thing for the actresses and filmmakers right daphne i'll take a uh, lead from yeah. sorry about that daphne i'd like to take a lead from what madhur said generating funds for women centric films you are a filmmaker yourself but you also run a forum which actually brings these women directors together who have a vision to present to the society to the world but they find the same difficult uh, difficulties in getting funds so what takes a woman to make a film to bring her dreams come true on a celluloid at the same time generating these funds world over because he definitely mentioned that it is a global uh, problem what we face so what it takes First of all, thank you so much for having me. It's an um, honor to be here with you all. And I, it's important to acknowledge, first of all, there was a study, many studies were done, but one study that when women in film um, in, in LA did, and more than half, 51% of movie-going audiences worldwide are women. And it's very important to understand that we need to see our stories on the screen, not just female-centered stories, but I think it's also makes a difference it's very powerful having a female perspective as a director as well and our initiative breaking through the lens we focus on having putting female voices and female directors at the forefront we each year select 10 feature films that are directed by women and we connect them to financing and that's investors sales distributors and it essentially we we look at financing because we believe that that is the critical area which needs support as you were saying women are considered riskier and it's a it's just a you know a a reality of our industry and i've been in meetings many times where if i'll have there'll be someone on our team perhaps it's a man and if we're in in a room they'll direct the conversation towards them automatically assuming that they're in charge and it's very interesting but i do think that the industry is changing and i've just made my um made a feature film my debut feature a uh, narrative feature with shruti hasan which was just a great honor to work with with shruti as our lead character and she really carried the film uh, it's a a story based on grief and set in in greece which is where my family's from and it was such an interesting we had so many conversations shruti and i because it for her experience it was very new working with a female director i think she had only worked one time uh, with a female director in her life and we had a shared experience but that relationship between her as our lead actress and myself as director and we understood each other we understood the emotions in a way that was just so different and she's just and shruti is an incredibly poised and dedicated actor and it was she it was really interesting to have those conversations around emotion that are just so different and it would have been very different um had i think i you know had i had i been a man because the female experience especially in this film is so unique and and it's something that we were able to share together so so yes that's um 
I think it's very, very important that we, we s start, you know, we really see men and women on equal footing as artists and that our perspectives, because women are, again, they are going to the cinemas and they actually do want to see their stories on the screen. So it does equal, you know, money. And I think our, it's, it's fantastic to see that system slowly changing. Great. Isha, coming to you. You know, I, I'm, I always faced uh, with few questions from the journalists that how different it is for women actors, female actors from your generation to now. You belong to this generation. Now, the kind of roles what you have been doing. And, uh, you know, I always tell them that there is a huge shift in the film goers. Earlier during my times when I used to be an actor, we had a certain group of people who would come to the theater and watch. It was just the regional, uh, you know, Indian team. But now, global cinema being at your fingertips, it's different. How difficult it is for you when the press comes and says, why can't you do a film like what probably Meena Kumari or Madhubala or Nargis had done, or even for that matter, what Rekha Ji or Hema Ji had done? Why you girls are doing only this glamorous roles? How difficult it is for you as an actor that you know you're a part of a hero-centric film, yet you have to leave an impression, make a mark, and when the audience comes out, including the critic, because everybody on a social platform is, is a critic today, because whether they understand about the movies or not, but then they need, they think they're liberated because they have a power to speak. So, you know, they all were like, Are, she didn't have any role. Are, she was there as only as a glamour girl. How difficult it is for you to leave a mark as an actor in a male-centric film? Um, firstly, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. It's an honor to be amongst these prestigious people on stage and Honorable Minister Sir Morgan. Um, you know, Kushbu, coming back to your question, it's, um, it's an... You know, when they used to ask me when I entered the industry and became an actor, what is the kind of film you'll want to do? And I actually used to say, I said, oh my God, I said, imagine like having this kind of movie, this kind of movie. You know, even the films that Sri Devi Ma'am did, you know, like films like Khuda Gawa, where her role is more important than, you know, Amitabh Sir's role and, you know, it's more powerful. And I was like, wow, that's a dream, that's a dream. But guess what? I mean, this year I completed 10 years in the industry. And up until 2019, it was only a dream. I only dreamt of having roles which, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I can lead and I can just, like, I'm just a part of it. To be a part of song, to look beautiful, you know, to support the actor in the film, whether it's my husband, my boyfriend, my brother. Um, but I saw the shift. And I think I even saw the shift in me. And I think it always begins from us. Even as actors, we need to take that step ahead. Um, because in 2019 is... I think the best film that I did of my life where um, Sri Anupam Kher sir, he was, um, he, was an, he was a supporting actor in that film and Kumud Mushraji, who, you know, they're two of the best actors in our country. Yeah. And they decided to be a part of that film, but like they said, we did not get funds for that movie. The movie was called One Day. We did not have funds enough for that movie. We did not have producers, me including with Anupam Kher sir, we were trying to get producers for that film. We were like, okay, because the producer half fell at the movie and we were like, oh my God, now what do we do? We don't have a producer. Why? Because it was a female-centric yes, film. And, you, and, and, and there's no glamour in the movie. I'm playing a police officer. There's no glamour. There's nothing, nothing that we can sell except that the good script and good acting. And when the film came in the theater, it did not do well at all. But then lockdown happened. And guess what? That movie was number one for five weeks on Netflix India and for four weeks on Amazon. And that's what it shows that the audience wants a change. The audience is looking for the change. The problem is we amongst our industry as well need to bring that change. We have people like Madhur Bandarkarji, who's one of the people in the industry who makes such films, you know. Um, rest of them don't want to take a risk, but I think that's a risk that even as actors, we need to make that conscious effort. After that, I don't remember doing films um, that I just want to be like, oh my God, there's a lot of money, glamour, let's just do it. You know, after that I did a lot of series, a lot of films, but only where I feel, you know what, the role is important, the looks are not important, the character is important, or you're showcasing a story of a female, of a woman and her emotions. 
um, kind of movies that you have also done. You know, I've seen so many of your films where you're so strong and powerful. And in between, I think we lost it with all the glamour and gifts. Mm -hmm. But luckily, uh, you know, we have people like Daphne, people like you, and we are bringing, and you know, the IB ministry, we are trying to bring out the women. Like, look at the room around. We have more women over here than men. It just showcases that women want to tell their story. We want to be heard. But even audience want to hear us. Madhu, like um, Isha said, um, you know, finding the producers, it took her 10 years to come to a conclusion that, and take a stance for herself saying that I want to do films where I can find roles which satisfies the actor in me and not the glamour girl in me. Finding a producer has always been difficult and I'm a producer myself. And finding a, f a producer to make a heroine centric film is very difficult. Today if somebody would say that, yeah, you make a film for yourself. And I'm like, calm, calm, theek chal rai, chhod do. So, you know, it's very difficult. Being a producer, I completely understand. It takes a lot of guts to do it. What makes you come back to the same thing of making a very women-centric film? Is it because you have a lot of, you know, like, like from a very young age, women around you, though you have brought up with a lot of female around you, women uh, at, at home, women power at home. So is that the reason or you're bringing up or what you have seen? Because what we see Madhur Bhandarkar is not what Madhur Bhandarkar was when he was growing up. You have seen struggling times. Okay, so what is it that pushes you to show the world women point of view? Well, one thing is there, I think so, um, the whole uh, dynamics uh, changed post. You know, my first movie, debut movie, which I made, was a very commercial, I have to tell you this trivia. Uh, when I wanted to make cinema, I started, I started out with as Ram Gopal Verma's associate director. I worked in Chennai and Hyderabad. And uh, I wanted to make the cinema which was obviously like a mix uh, of like a Sham Benigal cinema, like Govind Nilani cinema. Uh, at the same time, I was very influenced by Manmohan Desai cinema also. So when I wanted to start the journey, see, I didn't, I didn't come from a film backdrop. I came from a very ordinary poor middle class family who was a video cassette library delivery boy and started like that my journey. And the first movie I wanted to make, I went to a producer and he told me, ke, I said, Ye subject hai, it's a very good subject, let's make this subject. It's a message oriented. And, and those were the days I'm talking about 97, 98. And they said, ke, I said, message oriented picture. So he laughed at me, he said, message kya hai meko bata do. I'll SMS and send it. For that, I won't make a movie for three crores, there are four crores. I cannot make a message oriented film because you want to make commercial cinema. So, so my first movie uh, was Three Shakti, which was a very pot boiler kind of a cinema. The beggars can't be choosers and I had this opportunity to take, grab whatever it is. And I made this movie with Arshad Varsi, Milin Gonaji, Sharad Kapoor. And it was a big disaster. So it, it bombed very badly. But that was not me, a filmmaker. I made it because I said I didn't have any opportunity. I didn't have any backup for my big star or somebody so I just made it like that but then I wanted to make the film which I wanted the way it was and definitely Chandni Bar was born and that movie gave me good power uh, as a filmmaker in, in terms of commercial because that movie did commercially very well, critically acclaimed it got four national awards and that gave me uh, this kick you know to make the kind of subject which believe and that journey that trail started and I was very happy with that journey and I made successful cinema. I make film which made money. And there was a time when I used to tell my other people, friends uh, who are filmmakers, I said, why don't you make? So they said, no, no, this is Madhur. Madhur has a formula. He, he knows. He's very equipped in it. We don't want to make the film. So it was still difficult to make film like that. It's not very easy. Today also, and we are sitting in 2023, you won't get the desirable budget what you will get for an actor's budget. Agar male, I said, there are so many people who tell me that, that when, when, I, when I narrate the subject to them, Achha subject hai. Isko kaam karna, isko, let's make it flip karto, isko male oriented karto. So I'll give you the budget more. So this disparity jo ek hai na, which I don't like in the industry because I think a subject is there, you have to see that way. So they say no, the audience doesn't come for a female centric cinema so much for the male centric karte. Wo hai, wo sab hai because whenever we talk of any movie, the first thing what you ask, hero kon hai? Do you ask heroine kon hai? No, they won't ask. You will always say, 
so that is the problem so so it's very difficult today also to get the desirable budget which you want to except three four five girls which in the film industry there you will get a good reasonable budget otherwise it is very difficult to get that budget but i feel i made a career uh, on women centric cinema which have done very well for me commercially successful and i make film which is very commercial also i don't make people always told me ke madhur you make middle of the road cinema my movies are neither uh, very arty neither very commercial so i make the in between wala thing and which i feel the film should be entertaining engaging and it should click with the audience which, which is necessary and i'm very happy with this journey and i continue to make the kind of cinema i want to make isha you know when madhur is talking about uh, the disparity in cinema the box office also matters a lot like he said his first film tri shakti 12 baje shuru hui release hui 3 baje utar gayi now we as female actors we always want to do you know there's this we have this urge in us that i want to do a film which is going to showcase my talent which is going to bring out the best actor in me and i'm going to win the awards and people are going to go gaga it has happened with me i'm i was doing the best as a commercial actor okay of course i was fortunate where i did films where though they were hero oriented films you had a very substantial role i was one of the lucky ones uh, but i also did two films at the peak of my career with two of the best directors of the country mr balachandra k balachandra and mr bharti raja and it would be a dream come true for any film uh, actor uh, from the south to do a f- uh, two films with them to do a film with them and i was doing simultaneously with them but both the films bombed so i know it hurts you are appreciated your work is appreciated or you're like oh wow you win awards and everything but do you have that kind of an audience i mean they give the best do you have the best role and they were like yeah you should stick to doing films with mr rajini and kamal yaar you know that's the best thing but does it somewhere hurt you when when these kind of films don't do well and like you were saying that there were no buyers does it somewhere pinch you that i'm better off doing films where film chal to rahi hai na 12 baje release hoke 3 baje nahi utarti hai chal to rahi hai na are you okay with that you know like i said earlier it was really different uh it took me you know till 2019 and from 2012 like 7 years to understand and be content with myself and even evolve as a as an actor and as a person to understand that listen i have to satisfy my soul i have to do more i'm going to have kids i want my kids to look at the archives look at my films and be like are mom you know you did a film like this not just a film like you know where i'm looking beautiful and i'm dancing but i want my kids to be like wow mom you did a film like one day you did a series like ashram you know you are acting beautifully and i think when you reach that stage is when you realize also that problem is we were only feeding the audience a certain kind of cinema um like you rightly said madhur ji is one of the you know few directors maybe one or two directors in in our country who's from the beginning made films female oriented they did really well but you know they were just still not if i'm not wrong sir it wasn't as big commercially like you'll compare to other films but now but you made that audience but now i think audience wants to see that change that's why films are doing better and better especially when it comes to um you know the streaming platforms because they want it you know they they crave for it it's just we have so much creative content in our country it's just it wasn't getting a chance but i think now the audience is changing it's the same way it's just not cinema honestly i if i'm not wrong the american um, association of football they just recently made the female football and the male football the same uh, pay and they said why, why is the disparity to that the answer was that because uh, you know you guys don't get so many viewers on tv but that's because you're not promoting so much so i feel that there is an audience but it's just we need to promote it and pump it a lot for people to see of course um, you know you always feel are kaash movie itna acha karti and listen it happened to me initially i'll be honest i was like are i wish i wish it made that much money but now i'm seeing beautiful films like even a film like gangubai and you're like oh people want to see films um, you know which have a female in the lead definitely when we're talking about um, actors and uh, the kind of films we make you have just made a film which is a women centric film and you're a female director you have a lot of female crew and but you still say that it was very difficult to make a film 
Right, because uh, finding funds is difficult. Yes. Would you want to make more women-centric firms or would you want to go in, or you aspire to make a firm? You're, fr you're from uh, New York, so would, do you aspire to be part of that Hollywood films where you're making films with the biggest actors? And it could be, you know, right from Mr. Mr. Harrison Ford or Sean Penn who was here last evening or even Sandra Bullock or uh, say Julia Roberts. Those are all incredible <laughs> actors. But it's, it's very interesting, and I just want to start by saying, first of all, that it's, if you take Wonder Woman, for example, when we talk about commercial films, Wonder Woman was one of the most successful superhero films of all time. So it is a myth, it is a myth that films-centered, uh, female-centered films are not going to be as successful. But it's very interesting to hear Isha's experience with One Day and how it took it going on Netflix to get that tension because as you said, which is so true, change has to come from within. Here we are at the heart of the biggest film festival in the world. We all, everyone in this room has the power to shift our mindset away from that myth because it's a myth. Look at the numbers of Wonder Woman. It proves it right away. So that is just, I think it's so important that we switch how we're viewing, how we're marketing films and how we are, are talking about films, because from a commercial perspective, they're very, very successful. So it's, um, we need to change. And I, as a director, I'm, I, I always am moved, I, I'm a very, I look at stories that affect me in a very personal way, and, and filmmaking is so hard, especially independent filmmaking, that you have to be personally connected. So this feature film with Shruti was a very personal story um, about loss and about senseless loss. Um, the lead character, played by Shruti, her husband has died in a, in a sudden drowning accident so senselessly and exploring grief from a female perspective. It's a story that was very personal to me in so, in so many ways and my writing partner had lost her husband, her, her partner in that way. And, and so that's my perspective. This, this, the central character had to be a woman because that was where we were writing the part from. And so I think I will always make personal films, um, but that's not to say that there won't be a, a, a male lead. There was also, we had a co-star, uh, but Shruti very much carried the film and was at the heart of it. But um, I would love to work with the big male actors you mentioned, and, uh, but I think that it's important. I, I always want to serve the story in the best way. And I love when you see big, uh, you know, star male actors that are supporting, in supporting roles. It's so fantastic. And we had, we had Mark Rowley, who was just coming off The Last Kingdom on Netflix. And he said, it was really interesting in our early discussions, he said, I am here to love Diana. Diana was the character that Shruti played. He said, that's my role. And it was a, it was a co-star, it was a supporting role. And it was so powerful to see a, a male actor acknowledge that and that the story we were, it's about the story. You know, I hope we get to the day where we don't have to say female-centered, male-centered. It's about telling good and powerful stories. We're half the population and we should be half of the films and the stories that we're seeing on screen so that we can represent our, our world and our country and our shared experience. So, so I, I hope to get to work with all of these male actors and to continue telling powerful stories. Madhur, uh, Daphne spoke about Wonder Woman. We have exceptions when we talk about Gravity, where we had George Clooney playing a supporting role in a film where you have Sandra Block playing the main. Now, how many Wonder Woman can we make? It's an exception. How many Gravities can we make? It's an ex exception. How many Aaron Brokovich we can make? We still have world over. Globally, we have films where we talk about male-centric films. And I think, you know, there is, there is a perception where they say women-centric films, oh, wow, we are going to walk the red carpet at Cannes. We will be there at, you know, Toronto Film Festival. We will be there at uh, film festivals. And this is how we are going to take it forward, Lucano Festival. So I think, you know, when it comes to women-centric films, we always speak about taking them to the festivals, taking them to a niche audience, but not the commercial audience who actually pay their sweat and blood to come to the theater to buy the tickets. 
is that going to change well it will take time it won't be immediately and it has to be globally also yeah because even hollywood has yeah, made another yeah. gravity or another wonder yeah. woman globally also and as far you said ki josh clooney did that role that's that's really great in india you have lot of problem i have major problem when casting uh, uh, for my male actors in the film because popular actor feels ke main role acha mera role hai hi nahi picture mein kya dela se ke this is the whole movie belongs to this girl or you know i'm just a support and they feel if they want to uh, have their image of their own and they feel ke you know my image will get diluted in case i do this role or the actress is very strong so you know i'll be overshadow with her performance because you know the film belongs to her yeah. so it's very difficult to get actors also then the budget also again like i said it's cannot be possible so it will take time slowly and gradually i am very happy ke lot of uh, filmmakers now especially especially the upsurge of uh, the ott which have come there is a great uh, paradigm shift now which is happening and people are watching movies on the ott also and this and i'm very happy ke lot of actresses today they themselves wants to do film which like you said ki they don't want to do a typical commercial masala film they will do that also because they have to keep a balance yes. because commercial success will will be commercial success everybody wants to come in that 100 crore clubs or 200 crore club so that's the benchmark of all the actors now it's 300 club yeah 300 crore i'm just being very conservative so that is there so people wants to come you know ke everybody wants to come ke you know meko 100 crore ka mera hona chief ye hona chahiye that is the also there so that's the reason and actresses feel ke you know if a good performance role comes to me why not because i just won't want to be a just doing some item songs or you know doing masala film you know so they want to keep that balance also but they want to do those things also the commercial things also because they that is i think they that is the biggest spectrum for them to be over there and to be, be in the main or the big hero star film to be that big ticket film which we say about it that is also essential for them so i think that balance is there and slowly slowly i think ke uh, with the upsurge of uh, uh, the ott you will get a good desirable budget i feel so and coming But coming days yeah. madhur uh, correct me if i'm wrong ek waqt tha jab kehte the ki aapko heroine oriented karna hai to yaar serial kar lo movies to bade heroes ke liye hain commercial cinema hai you can do television because television is basically which caters to the women centric audience yeah. एंड आज के जमाने में कहते हैं वी हैव अपग्रेडेड आर सेल्व के यार आपको विमेन सेंट्रिक करना है तो ओ टी टी कर लो ना सो वाई आर वी स्टिल लुकिंग एट द डिस्पैरिटी द चेंजेस दैट वेन इट कम्स टू अ कमर्शियल सिनेमा इट हैज टू बी ओनली एंड द क्वेश्चन इज टू ऑल थ्री ऑफ यू हियर दैट वेन यू वॉन्ट टू डू अ कमर्शियल सिनेमा इट हैज टू बी अ हीरो सेंट्रिक इफ इट्स अ हीरोइन सेंट्रिक इट इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ गट्स फॉर समन लाइक मधुर भंडारकर और इट्स अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग स्क्रिप्ट I would like to tell the audience that we have a very acclaimed director, Sudhir Mishra ji, with us. Welcome to the forum, sir. Yes. So, uh, you know, it takes a lot of courage to make those kind of films. But then, why is that we still look at women-oriented subjects? That commercial cinema is about big heroes, women's uh, male-centric, and after that, women find. roles which probably very very meaty roles we have seen very recently where on television whether it was delhi crimes or whether it was arya or whether it was very uh, the, the uh, aryana kwot uh, ravina tandon did you know those kind of series which are women centric and you say that okay women are there even a film like darling was on ott it was a complete women centric but it was ott you don't you say that okay it has been like isha said it was number 1 for 5 weeks on netflix but then why didn't the same audience go to the theater to watch we want the same audience to go to the theater when you can appreciate a film which is on ott why don't you go to the theater and watch and what stops them from going to the theater and making these films commercial success see basically the thing is what ke the mindset has to change drastically because always they feel ke women centric cinema hai ye तो इट कैन बी सोशल इशू होगा इसमें कुछ इस तरह का प्रॉब्लम होगा इस तरह होगा तो दे डोंट दे ऑलवेज हैज दिस माइंड सेट नाउ द माइंड सेट इज टू वॉच मूवी इन ओटीटी टी माई रिसेंट मूवी बबली बॉन्स वेरी वेल ऑन द ओटीटी 
I wish it would but come to again, theater. Was, and but after, but you know, it came on the OTT, people called me, they said, why didn't you release it in the theater? Why didn't you release it in the theater? लेकिन बट ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज दैट वॉज मेड फॉर ओ टी टी एंड बिकॉज यू वॉन्टेड एंड दे गेम यू गुड बजट हॉट स्टार गेम यू गुड बजट बट वी वॉन्टेड टू मेक द मूवी विच इज फैमिली ओरियंटेड विच एवरीबडी वुड वॉच एट होम दैट इज द थिंग बट दिस माइंड सेट खुशबू हैज टू चेंज ओवर यर कि वे द प्रोडक्शन हाउस द प्रोड्यूसर और ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म आई मीन टू से दे हैव टू गिव बजट के यू नो वे इस इस थिएटर में रिलीज होना बहुत जरूरी है बिकॉज वेन थिएटर में ऑडियंस आएगी But the only problem is that they will say that this actor gets at least such an opening. Let that. Can this actor such an opening like in box office? Pe? Then you tell me. If the opening doesn't come at a desirable opening doesn't come at the box office, then how we'll going to invest? At least this particular actor will get so much on the weekend. That is a problem. Dip. Yeah, I'll just ask. Yeah, Daphne, you have to leave. I understand, so I will let you go. Thank you for being with us on the forum. Thank, Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Uh, we would like to request our honourable minister to honour Daphne. Uh, so this is a special handmade uh, stole which is made from lotus stem. A very delicate process. and takes lot of uh, time and effort to make it thank you definitely thank you so much So, would you like to join us? It would. So, we would love to have you. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. So. I would uh, like to ask the same question to you because your kind of films have been really, really strong, hard-hitting, women-centric films. आप जो बनाते हैं and Madhur was saying the same thing. Today we have OTT platform and on OTT platform आप uh, women-centric films बना सकते हैं. लेकिन क्या यही फिल्में बड़े audience के लिए, बड़े theatre के लिए, celluloid के लिए हम बना सकते हैं? What are the difficulties we face? आजकल मतलब Madhur was talking about opening. तो आजकल तो opening किसी की है ही नहीं. Number one, who has an opening? south is different no? yeah that's true let's let's keep this so for once but you know difficult films not merely women centric films the films that lead to questions and not answers and some not simplistic films films that are slightly not formulaic uh, don't find an audience that easily and they've never found an audience sometimes they work yeah. like madhur chandi bar work you know i mean sometimes things work you know but uh, more and more the audiences figured out uh, because in past three years they've got used to sitting on the sitting and, and so it's kind of a thought that maybe the more difficult films or the audience of more difficult films wants to is not as active or are not as uh, you know see the popular film audience is passionate Yes, the right. current films. They, they go, you know, the 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 different the audience that Madhur had or we had or lot of filmmakers have. Now, I think they want to wait for the OTT release. I mean, I hope you know that can slowly change. But you know, I mean, so it's not women centric films. Women centric films a little more, a little more. But I think that's changing. Huh? The film industry is changing very rapidly. Yes, and you, I you mean, go to any film set, say fifty percent of the Uh, uh, people on the set are women. Yes. I just met met somebody on the. I mean, on a show that they asked me to supervise. I met the entire unit. Ninety percent were women. Women. I completely so, understand. So I mean, this it's not a. 
So I mean, I think when women come, and I hope women don't only make films, but they tell us their view of our world, not but just about just about women. You know, just as we make films, like Madhur and I will make films. Let, let's let them make films. Let, let's not go into this. Let us slot women filmmakers into this yes. one zone. So I mean, it will change, like Madhur is saying. Right, because we have seen in today's times any. In fact. um i wouldn't say filmmakers who are making women centric films or women directors i think world over when you see very commercial filmmakers they have 80% of their unit is women powers then that's what i think uh, we as a government of india have been taking it forward and speaking about it that women power should be there you have to empower women france, and france is one uh, usually i mean there's there's people all over the world the women in many areas of filmmaking france is the one country where there are, i think more women younger directors than men men i think yeah, so i seem lovely. to get the impression that so i mean slowly it changes you know it just won't happen and there's a lot to be done but women like greta gerwig and all these in the in the west and everywhere are changing and we have zoya and we have yes. uh, karima and, and we had you know in south we have people yes. so i mean this it'll, it'll happen Isha, when we talk about women-centric films, now you said there's there's been a change, and you think that uh, you need to, you know, there was a calling, and you said that from 2019 you decided to do the kind of films which probably satisfies the actor in you, and not just the glamour girl. You are beautiful, you're tall, you would fit into doing any of these Pathan kind of films. But when you say that I want to do very meaningful roles, do you think that you miss out on being part of these? 300 crore club movies do you still want to be part of that you want to find a balance between the two i think i do the balance by you know my looks that i do on red carpet or at cans but you know but i'm i mean many people i i just hope people don't take an offense to what i'm going to say but i saw i mean my mother ended up watching the movie the the one that came with ada sharma right now um kerala kerala story kerala story Kerala Diaries thank you look at that film it's done so well and what is it it's there's nothing commercial there's nothing glamour but they took a risk you know on a film like that on a subject like that and people want to watch it my mother went and watched and she called me and she like beta aisi film karni hai tujhe and i'm like you know yeah thank you and i'm like wow really mom she's like yeah that's the kind of cinema i want you to be a part of so i can also be proud and be like are my daughter did that film you know and but and it's done commercially really well so you know like sudhir sir and madhur ji said that you know the the audience is changing the world is changing and like jeffni said before we need to market the films differently we need to promote it differently and and the audience wants to see the change madhur now when we talk about different kinds of films whether it was kashmir files or whether it was kerala stories i'm saying or even for that matter the south indian films what sudhir ji was mentioning whether it was triple r or kantara or kgf or uh, ponniyan selvan now is the audience ready to watch different genre of films at the same time the content of the film what is we are talking about heroes we are talking about the heroines what is the main aspect which brings the audience into the theater is is the actors the directors the content or what is most important today promotion what brings the audience into the theaters uh see khushboo i have made 15 films so far if you take from chandni bar to india lockdown and i have to tell you this i had made all original film in fact my first movie tri shakti also was a original film not copied from any south film or remake or biopic all original film and what movies you mentioned just now kanthara rrr uh, kgf kashmir file or uh, kerala diaries they all original and how it has connected with the audience big time and i think we ourselves uh, but then so did pathan yaar yeah, pathan also pathan, connected obviously, commercial obviously yeah commercial, commercial yeah, aspect yeah i'm talking yeah. about yeah so i'm just telling you these are original story which has done very well at the box office and you should make a time it is not guarantee if you make a remake of a film and going to get hit it is not guarantee if you make a hollywood remake it's going to get hit or you're going to make a biopic as going to get hit it is not there's no doctrine there's no formula of making a uh, successful cinema what works at the audience nobody knows 
if everybody we know that we would have make only every year four five films we would have made so there is no doctrine as such ki what works at the box office you never know what the audience click now you see uh, industry was going such a dry spell if you see uh, after pathan you know uh, january got really it did commercially superb all over the world and suddenly it, there was a lull in the film industry and suddenly kerala diary comes and it just takes the nation by storm and it's going to cross 200 crores so i think that's the audiences which connected somebody has gone and paid the money and watched the movie and that's the reason that there's so much of appreciation is there so much of block booking is going on so i personally feel so what works at the box office nobody knows but at least the attempt should be there to make something original and which you feel the audience and audience has an option today the audience problem is what post pandemic if you see the two years which audience were had seen they have seen world over cinema i know my friends who used to not see uh, any kind of hindi cinema they started recommending me spanish cinema italian cinema and all this thing because in the pandemic everybody has become a critic and everybody has become a film buff yeah. so they know that yaar ye dekh ye kamal ka hai ye south indian films are doing so well and the last year had definitely been supported had not rrr or apna uh, kgf all these things have not come pushpa the the, the box is the pan india which which it got the collection it was huge upsurge in the in the film industry in everywhere people started knowing all the south actors in the north zone also sudhir ji we are talking about uh, you know what madhur said ki you have to take the risk i'm glad to say that the north indian industry is now accepting that the south indian industry is bigger <laughs> as a south and, indian and, and, i take that when, with pride when, when you start writing the doom of indian cinema you must admit that in tamil nadu for instance they make all sorts of films yes so i uh, i just met vetri maran he said his freedom vidudalai yes that's an extremely well and there was and that has done extremely well that's a very tough film done done with just a, uh, a stand up comic yes right and a very tough film and yes. not a not a mass entertainer uh, kind of film. definitely so I'm, i with a nobody vijay is just there in the yes. end of the film so i think i mean it's 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 the audiences and 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 the, there is a connectivity like he says there is a shift there is a shift of the audience but what i would like to know from your perspective as a filmmaker as a director producer writer is everyone ready to take that risk because today we have an option ki yaar agar you know when you're making a film making a particular kind of a film that if it doesn't reach out to the audience in the theaters we always have ott so before and that's how the production is done today that when you're doing a business you always look into it how much i'm going to make it from the ott platform ki wo commercially aa jata hai all over the world difficult films are made by, because there's a kind of a buyback or a, a presale with television difficult films are not only the revenue or not possible only because of box office there are all sorts of films so i, I as as, so, as a filmmaker i would say that younger people should follow their instincts make the films that and show me their the my world through their eyes I mean, and and make films now you can't predict like he says you know they just just go ahead and and make a film in 2 lakhs it's it's a i mean i just met a person who made a film in mangalore Uh, he made a film in 20 lakhs it's in rotterdam it's in poland it's it was a new york film festival it's it's you know he's made a film in 20 lakhs the young young person right so you, i mean i don't know if he's here but uh, harshad nalbade is his name so there is a there are people and younger people and today technology makes it possible to make films any way you want right so 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 i don't i think we should stop the audience doesn't necessarily if you start pandering to an audience See, there are some people with a natural instinct, like Mani Ratnam makes films which are naturally popular, like Raju Hirani makes films that are naturally popular. He's not trying; it's his instinct. It's what we call fitrat. Yeah. Right. So, if you tell if you tell say a Kerala filmmaker to make that kind of film, he'll just fail. So, I mean, I think there should be all sorts of films, and that's the height of a, of a healthy film industry. and I, you never know what the audience will accept exactly because so because the audience doesn't know what they want you have to show it to them no that this is also a film otherwise you know like if you start pandering to a formula yeah. then everybody will make formulaic films and, and and what will happen so there's no 
I mean, at least as filmmakers, I am deciding to make go back to my roots and make small budget films and and make films that I like because there's no other way to make a film. Correct. So I I you know uh, when we have this discussion, I sum it up in a way where the kind of films we have been making or the discussion we have had your perspective, uh, Madhur yours, Anisha you. And as a filmmaker myself, I think today the kind of films that have done well, and like Sudhir, you mentioned that uh, South Indian cinema has done extremely well, or even films, uh, you know, what uh, Kashmir Files. Look at Kerala. Or, look at Kerala. Yes. It's a, look at the films made in Kerala. So, I mean, I mean do you look have at some Marathi cinema. Young, yes. Young, ma, ma, young people. Have, see, look at the regional cinema. You know, that's where the, 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 the because they're connected. Exactly. And you I was know, coming to that look, point. Look at that. What we condescendingly called regional. <laughs> there is this whole thing, this See, is national, that is regional. That art doesn't have a barrier. Yeah. When it comes to art, it is. it just breaks all the barriers and we say that we all belong to one fraternity. Which part of the world you come from doesn't matter. We all gather together because we all are art lovers. So I think art should be not... Uh, you, you know, put into uh, a bracket and say, okay, okay, this is Indian, this is global, this is French, this is American, this is Italian. No, I think, or even in India, we have a, a state boundaries, but I think cinema should be beyond every boundary. And we as Indians love to say that today, Indian cinema is making a huge mark globally where people are turning back and looking at India and saying that, wow, what beautiful filmmakers you have, whether you have had Pathan, absolutely commercial but you have to give it to Siddharth Malhotra for making such a beautiful commercial film and then of course you have Mr. Mani Ratna making Pony and Selvan a history which people thought that never will be told on a celluloid but here you have Mr. Mani Ratna bringing out the history the essence of every Tamil person who has gone and with, with Pony and Selvan it is like not going and watching a film but it was like okay this is what my calling is being a Tamilian this is what my calling is and I love to see my history being told Kashmiri Files, Kerala Diaries, Pushpa, Triple R, Bahubali or Kantara or KGF I think every film that has done well or even Gangubai for that matter or your film uh, Bouncy Bubbly for that matter I think the most important thing what we have seen in Indian cinema especially after the pandemic is we are going back to our roots. We are deeply rooted and that is where we are connecting because anything which is taking back to our soil, to our roots, to our origin where we come from, we want to watch that and we say that, okay, this is me. I see myself somewhere in this Indian film, this movie. I have been, and some character connects and every person who watches this film and comes out and say, that I have this person in my house. Exactly my, my uncle is like that or my sister that my brother is like that so I think you know that is the connectivity which is taking us forward and I, I think it's, it's so beautiful to see that we all coming together at this festival and saying that we are going to take what is Indian what is what it takes to be an Indian and what it takes for an Indian to move forward globally and with the blessing and the guidance of our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji I think when he talks about one nation, one family, and one world, one family. And I think this is what we have to take it forward, that we as one family, as one uh, world, we have to come together and stand by each other. And that is going to keep us united because after all, we all are humankind which belongs to this uh, world. And we breathe and we, you know, uh, we breathe the same air and it's no different. We all have same blood running uh, in our bodies, the same red color, nobody has a different color. So I think we all stay connected globally as one, as one humankind. So I would like to thank Sudhirji, Madhur, Daphne is not with here, but thanks Daphne and thank you so much Isha for your perspectives. And thank you Minister Sir for being so patiently waiting and listening to us because your thoughts are extremely important. Yes, your thoughts are extremely important because you head, uh, uh, you know, the M being the MOS of uh, Information Broadcasting Ministry and I must give it to you and our Union Minister Anurag Thakurji for always standing by the industry and always wanting to do something more for the industry, whether it is at Khan or whether it is IFI or any other problems. We have seen how Government of India from the Iron Bin Ministry has been coming forward. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank NFTC also for being such beautiful host here and the Fiki. But sir, before we wind up, a few words from you. Srimadhi Kuspuji, Sri Sudhir Musraji, 
श्री मधुर भंडारकर जी ईशा गुप्ता जी लेडीस एंड जेंटलमैन नमस्ते वनकम टू यू आल ऐम वेरी हैप्पी टू हियर टू शेयर दिस सेशन विमेन साइंस रियली द विमेन्स आर साइनिंग साइंड साइनिंग दे विल साइन बिकॉज यू सो आई एम लिसनिंग and i am watching uh, my childhood childhood also the from cinema particularly uh, i can mention two three tamil cinemas also or mother ji also here uh, i don't see the cinema is an uh, centric of hero and heroine i see it is an uh, content is the uh, main part uh, for the cinema so the uh, you see uh, two three uh, movies uh, kushbu ji I, i don't remember kushbu ji is acted in that movie or not magalir mattum so magalir mattum there is one tamil cinema so how they successful uh, magalir mattum means the, uh, ladies only the cinema name itself ladies only so the, the uh, heroines are all uh, ladies only so the very good story that uh, story is i think 80s or 90s that uh, is very uh, super duper wherever you go that movie is very movie commercially also hit story also very good and uh, recently in bollywood uh, vidya balan ji acted on movie slow i think slow slow or snow no 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 recently uh, three four years before slow ah slow yes yes ha ha hamari ha hamari sulu ha yes because i went to theater because i want to learn hindi uh, 2017 18 uh, i want to learn hindi i used to go daily night uh, when i shift to delhi i used to go daily night to uh, hindi cinemas so hamari sulu i went how see the content you see the content again how the women how she is as a house wife how she is facing in the house also and house uh, after the house how she is facing in the office and workplace so fantastically uh, uh, the story has uh, uh, presented before the audience so these are uh, so movies are commercially successed uh, I, i don't uh, uh, see this uh, because uh, uh, under our prime minister sri uh, narendra modi ji's leadership how the nari shakti is emerging nowadays uh, you may surprise there is an c festi- uh, film festival also c awards in kerala uh, i went uh, for the award function the award name itself c so those who uh, uh, performed good and they are all uh, whether directors producers or artists so they are encouraging uh, for the, this film festival Uh, apart from this i want to mention some uh, uh, cinema in tamil also you see uh, in uh, i think uh, 40 50s also uh, not 50 60s i think tillal avana tillala mohanambal tillana mohanambal this is the centric uh, woman centric story that uh, 60s itself so the shivaji ganeshan and badmini they acted uh, in that movie so and uh, in tamil uh, rajinikanth's daughter uh, i think uh, aishwarya she made on animation film animation film first uh, women uh, director and women producer uh, she made an animation movie in uh, saundarya uh, kochadiyan uh, rajinikanth she won the uh, national award, she, uh, she won the national award also on those film so the uh, and uh, recently last 2 3 days with us our uh, gunit monga ji uh, how she uh, taken our indian cinema to the oscar she won the oscar film award so we are very uh, the women's uh, are leading the country and as well as leading the cinema industry kushbu ji saji you already so you don't worry about that the you the, the people are not coming to the are uh, investing in the women centric that is not at all the women content is there the success story will be there definitely the movie will be hit that is the, our indians mind that is the, there so uh, i want to mention uh, some of our uh, nfdc activities how our nfdc is uh, taking care of the cinema industry in the uh, women's already our nfdc 
trained 100 women and uh, young 100 women as in uh, whether they are producer whether directors they are they are uh, trained more than 100 women and if we, we gave uh, uh, last year uh, 75 young mind young talented in this more than 70 percent are from women's only and uh, you see our government also uh, initiated so many uh, programs like uh, mudra loan and uh, beti bachao schemes so the uh, we are one side social sector the women's empowerment and you can see the padman how the social uh, message early no no one is not ready to talk about the uh, pad after 2014 people are and because of the concern of the our sisters and mothers uh, they want to use the pad the one padman story it creates the awareness among the so one rupees one pad is available this, uh, this women centric uh, stories are also getting um, uh, hero here heroine it is the heroine i can tell so uh, uh, i'm very happy to part of this uh, session thank you very much uh, sudhir ji thank you very much you have participated uh, madhur ji thank you saji thank you kushpu ji and uh, nfdc thank you very much our uh, joint secretary uh, the all here participant thank you very much thank you very much thank you for being